All right, welcome back to part three. Uh, I've done a little bit of work off camera. Um, I thinned the belly down just a little bit and moved the gut farther forward. It was just a little too far back. And I thinned the tail down just a little bit to start getting that ready. And I've done all the contouring of the face and head. So today I'm gonna start putting a little bit of gill detail in this. We're gonna carve out behind the gill plates here and um, maybe start hollowing out the mouth just a little bit because I am going to I have decided to cut this part of the jaw off and do the inside work of the mouth with the jaw off and then attach it back so um, I haven't found any videos on that um, I did get a suggestion that there was a book out uh jan uh sent me a suggestion saying that there was a book out that detailed that i don't have the book and i probably don't have time to order it and get it and get this done so i'm just going to kind of wing it um actually i did order the book but i doubt that it's going to get here in time for me to do this so i'm just going to kind of go with what i've got in my head and, and see how it goes but I'm going to start on this, weather permitting, I don't know how long I'm going to get to work on it because we got, we're got we under a threat of severe thunderstorm warnings here tonight. Uh, we had about, we had some roll through last night with uh, tornadoes bouncing all around us and uh, we got lucky, uh, just had a little bit of hail here, so they actually went north of us, but there's a bee on my camera, <laughs> I saw that or not. But uh, there's, that's not a flower, honeybee. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to um, get started on this. We'll get the camera turned around here. And I'm going to draw the pattern on here first. And, uh, and I'm going to start carving some detail and relief of the actual gill plates here. So uh, give me just a minute to get this turned around here. Get out of here, mosquito. out of here you know, the bad thing about the it's a beautiful time of year but you know, the bad thing is a bunch of mosquitoes out here get I'm not following this exactly because uh, I think I mentioned it before when when you mount a fish they go through a drying time before they actually after they after they stretch the skin and the head over the form it goes through a drying time and it shrinks up quite a bit so um, I'm going so, you know, so all this will deform a little bit. So it don't have to be exact.
All right, I got all that drawn back on, and I'm going to start cutting the relief of these details in. And um, just working it down. I think it's pretty flattened out now. I don't know if that's going to show. I've got it pretty flattened out and textured with the muscles in the cheeks and the bone structure in the head. So I just need to start flattening these out now and putting the uh, putting the lines in. So I don't know if I want to do that with, yeah, I think I'm also gonna do it with the diamond blade. So give me a second here to get these diamonds to get out. I think I'm gonna start on these gill flaps here. Alright, I've got um, most of the details carved in here and I'm going to go in and kind of undercut some of these gill plates here and I've got this little bitty cone shape uh, ceramic stone that I'm going to do that with see if I can get it where you can see it I'm just going to use the edge of it to go underneath here Polishing wheels just about we're out. I need to replace the uh, I need to replace the uh, pads on it. I've got some more, I just hadn't cut them. I think I'm gonna do another tutorial on just this on how to build just this because I gotta I gotta make a friend of mine one. So I may do a tutorial on just that. It'll be short and sweet. They work great. If you don't know what it is, if you missed the video, it's just Scotch Bright pad that I made. It was bigger. It was like that big around, but it's about wore down. And it's just a good deburring.
Yeah, it's too wore out. I'm going to hit the... Yeah, I need to make me a new one. This one's just not cutting it anymore. A little bit. But not like it should be. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I do not. I'm just winging it here. This is, this is all new territory for me. I've never carved one with the gills flared, so this is all new for me. I'm not going to go all the way down. I'm just going to kind of get it a little hollowed out. And I'll study it a little bit. <sighs> All right, I think I'm gonna stop there. That'll give you a little better idea. It's looking better. Let me turn this light off and you can see the detail that I've got so far. So that gives you a little bit better. Look at the bug. Get out of here. That'll give you a little bit better idea of what I got done tonight. But like I say, this still this still needs to be cleaned up. Okay, that's going to do it for part three. Um, I did a little hollowing out there, as you saw. And the, the detail on the mouth is done. It's not refined yet. It's just kind of a rough layout. Um, on part four, I'm going to cut the jaw off and start working on the hollow the inside of the mouth detail and um and like say i i don't know what i'm doing so i want to make sure i take the time to do it right so that'll probably be a whole part by itself doing the doing the inside of the mouth um i was going to add it into part into uh, part three in this section but i think i'm already running long so I'll, I'll do that on, a, on another part. But anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. And uh, and if you'll hit that subscribe button, I'd appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up. And leave me any comments or questions you have. Leave them for me in the comment section. And uh, appreciate y'all watching. And I'll see you on part four.